Mr. President, I come to the floor today to talk about my amendment to the Transportation Reauthorization Bill that I've introduced with Senator Blunt. I'm grateful that this amendment has been included in the base bill of Leader Reed's substitute amendment. Mr. President, I'll take just a couple minutes to explain this amendment. It's a really a simple, common sense amendment, and I'm glad it has been accepted. It's also of particular significance to my home state of Minnesota. On August 1st of this year, we will mark the fifth anniversary of a tragedy in my home state, the collapse of the Interstate 35W Bridge in Minneapolis. The collapse killed 13 people and injured 145. That tragedy should have been a wake-up call in America and in this body. Bridges should not collapse in the United States of America. Unfortunately, the state of many of our bridges today is still extremely concerning. According to the most recent data compiled by the Federal Highway Administration, one in nine highway bridges in this country are classified as structurally deficient. Let me say it another way. One in nine bridges in our country needs significant rehabilitation or replacement and requires yearly inspection. In Minnesota alone, more than 1,100 bridges were listed as being structurally deficient. The bill that we're debating today consolidates the many varied surface transportation programs into five main pots of money. The Highway Bridge Program would be consolidated into the new National Highway Performance Program. And of this new program, 60% would have to be spent on restoring national highway system roads and bridges into a state of good repair. The other 40% is more flexible and can be spent on a variety of projects, including federal aid highways that aren't on the national highway system or the NHS. However, if those non-NHS roads have a bridge that needs repair, that project wouldn't have been an allowable use of this flexible pot of money. My amendment, which has now been included in the base bill, fixes that. It allows the 40% pot of money to be used to repair bridges on non-NHS federal aid highways. It's just common sense. If roads are eligible for this funding, then bridges along those roads should be eligible as well. This is a no-brainer to me, especially given the poor state of our bridges today in our country. The I-35W bridge collapse was a tragedy and it was a monumental failure of policy. I'm determined not to let that happen again and I thank Senator Blunt for joining me in this effort. I'd also like to thank Transportation for America and Smart Growth America for their support on this important fix. Thank you, Mr. President, I yield the floor and uh, would suggest the absence of a quorum.